What are we doing? Hiding in a box. Playing with the <laughs> Ikea of bird stands. I might have gone a little nuts and ordered a few new stands. What? There's another one. <laughs> the first to test it out. So a lot of you guys ask about Rocco and what it looks like to have him just around in my house all day. And this is what it looks like. Sometimes he's really content. Some of his favorite places in my house include my dining room table. He loves sitting on the back of all the chairs, especially the one that I actually sit in. He likes to sit on that one, which is in front of my pretend fireplace. He absolutely loves that one. I've tried putting some of my play stands over in this area. He never uses them. He always uses the back of the chair. So not only is the dining room his favorite place to be, but also Capri's bathroom. He often flies there by himself. Marco. Here's Kim. So one of the nice things about toucans versus parrots is that toucans are a lot less destructive. So they don't go and chew the wood up on your house or usually get themselves into finding cables to destroy. They just can't really destroy that much stuff. So 
Rocco is able to have free roam of the house. He also stays fairly up high, so he's not much of a go to the ground and hop around type of bird, uh, unless he's seeking out Dave. <laughs> there have been times where Capri and my husband, uh, so my husband and my daughter will be playing in my daughter's room, and if Rocco knows that they're in there, he's always curious about what they're doing, and he will then hop on the floor and go in there. So. I usually tell them if they're doing crafts or something like that where they have little beady type things then I really ask for her to keep her door shut so that he isn't compelled to go in there and then think that he can't be part of the fun. Now my camera is having a major audio issue and there's just a fuzz noise on all the footage that I took so unfortunately I'm going to have to voice over all of it. But the fun thing about toucans is they're very very busy so as you can see he does a lot of hopping around. I have a ton of play stands around my house for him to fly around to and he uses absolutely all of them. And then he also uses the countertops, the cabinets, he'll fly to the piano, anywhere he can land he will pretty much go but he does like to be uh, pretty much at the level that you see him at and higher. So he's not much of a go explore the floor type of bird. Um, if he's on the floor it was usually an accident. Um, but for the most part, he's very curious, so he can be into things. However, for the most part, he can't do anything to those things. So it's not quite the same as having a parrot that can pretty much get into anything. Um, and so hanging out with him is a lot more easygoing throughout the day. Now when it comes to my parrots, I do give them a bath. I can put them in a shower perch in my shower or I can spray them with a spray bottle. Rocco is nothing like that. I have never put him in the shower on a shower perch and I he absolutely hates the spray bottle. He really prefers a large dish or a sink <laughs> filled as such and he prefers to bathe himself. Now he will play in water all of the time every single day and most likely right after I refill it. Um, so whenever I give him a fresh bowl of water is most likely when he's going to take a bath in it. So pretty much whenever he's free roaming in the house, I keep a large dish of water on my counter for him. And then I also keep his fruit there as well so that if it does fall or splatter onto the floor, it's onto the wood floor and is much easier to clean up than the carpet. Although Rocco can be incredibly affectionate, for the most part he likes just being in the same area as me. He doesn't necessarily have to be touching me or on me or anything like that, he just likes being around me. So if I go into the office or go into a room that he doesn't think he can get to because he knows there's no play stands to land on, uh, he gets very flighty and I can hear him just kind of going all around the main part of the house. So he sounds a little bit more discontent versus when I'm in the room with him, he seems very, very content to just know that I'm there and be around somebody. So it's quite sweet. And if you're wondering what he feels like, the orangish red color around his eye is like velvet, which is pretty much the same texture as the blue in his eye. And then the white and black feathers are incredibly, incredibly soft. Because toucans have incredibly fast metabolisms, they don't store food uh, like parrots do, they are constantly pooping. So that's a thing. That's why I have so many play stands around my house. That's why I keep baby wipes on hand pretty much everywhere. Um, so, and especially because they eat fruit, that's going literally straight through them. So it's something to keep in mind if you ever consider getting a toucan or even watching one for a friend, just understanding what you're getting into as far as the poop side of things and how often they poop because it's a lot more often than you could possibly imagine. Whatever he eats, it's coming right back out and you're going to be able to recognize it. And P.S. He hates my camera. <laughs> 